Ah, the long history of Armored Core and, and me. Remember Armored Core 1? I don't, because I never played it. Armored Core 2? Yeah, I didn't play that either. So I don't remember that much about that. How about Armored Core 3? Now, that was a game. On a system, I don't know that it was. I don't even know what it played on. Armored Core 4 and 5, though. Truly classic. Games that I never played. Now, Armored Core 6, though. Maybe that's the one I can get behind. That's right. I am the man you may know as E from Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I'm here to talk about Armored Core 6. Something about something? A thing? You know, fires of... I don't even know. I don't know the story. I don't know what's going on. But I do know mech suits look cool. And as... And again, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not a FromSoft guy. I, ju I I played Elden Ring and made, made the Elden Ring or made the Elden Beast my bitch. So I'm excited. I never played any of the other games. I must not be a hardcore gamer because I never played any other FromSoft games. But I was very impressed. Elden Ring, one of the best games I think I've ever played. So here I am as a new fan of uh, Bandai Namco and saying, hey, let's check out Armored Core 6. There's a new trailer for gameplay, it looks like. Let's take a look. Let's get into it. The first part here all kind of looks like, uh, like the, you know, obviously the intro and all that stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you all that. But what I'm really interested in is the combat because I have no idea what it is. But it looks pretty cool. I think fighting super duper giant monster beast things, robot things, sounds super cool. I understand there's like customization and all sorts of cool stuff. I get you get to use laser cannons and customizing things. I don't know. I saw like a flying segment. I see you're on like a robot tank track. Maybe that's a thing. This all kind of looks like gameplay, so I'm assuming it is. You jump, you fight, bo the bosses look cool. That thing looks cool. Giant robot sandworm thing. Kind of excited about this. From, I, from what I understand, it's completely single player, so maybe I, I'm mostly a multiplayer um, online guy. I like those the best. I'll play single player games every once in a while, but again, I've never played any Armored Cores. Fires of Rubicon. Don't even know what a Rubicon is. Um, Big bosses. I like the whole, the graphics look great. It's that third person over the shoulder view. It's kind of cool. I like mechs. Mech suits is fun, but the gameplay looks great. Uh, you know, looks pretty phenomenal. From, I will say, Noob Noob says he played some of the games, and he says this looks like a... <laughs> it looks like an Armored Core game, and the gameplay looks the same. He said they're very complicated, and it's a difficult game. So, I'm still down. I think it looks good. I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? It looks cool. What I really thought was super cool, besides the fact that these bosses look absolutely incredible and, and look really interesting is the whole component of I mean their their website's cool which 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 will lead us into something even more interesting. Uh so apparently it's going to be on PS5, Xbox One, PC, P uh, PS4. Woohoo! PS4. <laughs> I haven't upgraded to my PS5 yet. Still waiting. New new has one, I do not. I think he had the first edition that came out. Omnidirectional battles. Pilot your mech in a fast place, take advantage of your mech's Mobility, both on land and air. Yeah, okay. Customize your mech play style. Maybe you like long range. Maybe you want to get in there and mix it up. Maybe you want to be on tank trays. I don't know. But it looks cool. Thrilling boss battles. Clearly looks like there's a lot of boss battles that look pretty cool. Story over overview, don't know what. Nope, no idea. But here's what I really thought was pretty interesting is they have all of these crazy pre-orders and I'm going to say 
pre-orders look pretty darn cool. Standard edition, you get the base game. And look, this isn't an advertisement. I just think it looks cool. Um, pretty cool pre-orders. Premium edition looks pretty cool. It's August 25th is when it comes out. I like the idea that you get a mech. It's kind of cool. I wonder if you can paint it yourself. I don't know. Probably not. There's a launch edition, digital deluxe, standard edition, premium edition. Let's just, let's take a look. What's the premium edition? Look, it comes with a steel book and some other stuff and a figurine and a garage for your figure. I mean, that's pretty, this is what I'm most excited about. I like the figurine and the garage and the art book, it's cool. the digital soundtrack, some pin badges and some stickers. I mean, they're really throwing a lot of stuff in there for you. So, okay, that's cool. Um, Yeah, I wish I could get off. Oh, there's the X. There, the What else is there? There's a collector's edition. Looks pretty freaking cool. You still get the art book and the base game and the steel book. Oh, okay, that's what they're telling you. You get pin badges, original soundtrack. Hold on, let me just look at this like premium edition. You get the base game. Exclusive steel book, digital sound. It's not, you just get the garage. Seems to be the extra thing. I really kind of like the mech. Um, I'm, I can't lie. I'm totally into that. Base game, art card, poster. You get a poster. You get a poster. Digital edition, standard edition. Okay, cool enough. Now, what I really wanted to know. Okay, what's the, what's the price on this? Oh, it's in euros. I think that's euros. $450, Pete. Yeah, so the dollar is almost at parity with the euro. So about 460 US, 450 quid, 449 euro, 99 quid. I don't know how that thing works, but that's a lot of money. Well, I'm probably not going to be getting the uh, this edition. What's <laughs> what's? Oh wait, maybe I can go to the PS4 version. Still not any cheaper. Oh man, collector's edition, two hundred fifty quid, dollars, rupees. Okay, I mean it's still. I I don't the garage. I don't need the garage. Maybe two hundred fifty dollars is in my life. Maybe I buy it on eBay. Maybe eBay still exists. It's pretty It's pretty cool. You can use club points. I don't even know what those are. Don't even know what those are. Launch edition. Just looks like some regular old stuff. $70. My lord, that's a lot of money. But it looks like a good game. Are you guys going to buy it? Let me know. Uh, I just wanted to show you these like cool features and the fact that they released gameplay footage. Looks pretty dope. I'm excited. How about you? Let me know down below in the comments. What am I missing? Do I Is there a particular version I should have played before this? Am I going to not understand something about the story if I don't play Armored Core 3? Like is there something I might not I might not know? Do I need to read the lore? I don't I don't think I do, but maybe I do. Anyway, uh, catch our full-length audio podcast. It's free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. We will not charge you $449.99 or euros, whatever those are. Um, yeah, we're on Instagram, ork, O-R-K, underscore you. Uh, like, subscribe. Thank you for listening. Let me know. I really want to know more about Armor Core. You think it's going to be worth it? Should I spend the money on this? Do I upgrade to a PS5? I honestly don't know. Um, but thank you for listening and we'll catch you on the next one because I am on to the next one.